The other day I was browsing everyone's favorite e-waste dump website, AliExpress. I was on the lookout for a SATA to ID adapter, until I realized that, while at it, I should also buy another storage device, just in case, you know. So I began searching for SSDs and, boy, was I floored. There was an overabundance of really cheap SSDs, including ones with wacky designs, like this Christmas one or this football one. In the end, I went with this Kingspec one, clearly not a knockoff of Kingston, mainly because it was the cheapest. Normally, it goes for 12 euros, but having not ordered anything from Ali in almost two years, I had a welcome deal which meant I could buy this 128GB SSD for around 4 euros. It seemed a little bit too good to be true, but I ordered it for the sake of my curiosity. Looking at the description of the product, it seems mostly okay, except for the pretty broken grammar, but that's to be expected for most descriptions on AliExpress. Believe it or not, the SSDs here, profession, achieve, outstanding quality, I mean, great words guys, just, man, I'm, I'm shaking. There's not much to say about the packaging, it's just a little copper box, let's tear into it. There is no manual to speak of. All you get is the SSD. Get out. First impressions, this is entirely plastic, though it has some weight to it. On the back, there is some information about the SSD. 128GB CO3 SSD, as it claims it is. Now let's install this into an actual machine and do some testing. Just a small PSA, if you want to connect to more than 3 storage devices to your PC, get a full size ATX case. In Crystal Disk Info, the SSD reports that it has never been used before being sold, so that's a good start. The first test for the SSD is H2 Test W, which is being used to find out the real capacity of the drive. Thankfully, the program does report that this is an actual 128GB SSD. For 4 euros, the fact that this drive is not lying about its capacity is already a huge W. Next is Crystal Disk Mark. And well, this isn't too bad. These speeds are fairly typical for a SATA 3 SSD. Well, at least a cheap one. So I used this to crack it open, so let's check it out. Ah, there you go. Well, color me surprised, this random ass SSD from AliExpress isn't some fucked up contraption. The controller that's being used here is a Ray MX RM1135T by Realtek, which is actually fairly uncommon, you don't see many SSDs use this one. In conclusion, this King Spec unit from AliExpress is incredible value. Now sure, it's not particularly a fancy SSD, it doesn't seem to have stuff like a DRAM cache for example, and endurance is fairly questionable. But don't get me wrong, this isn't that bad for what it is. If you need a cheap SSD to speed up operation of an old computer, for 4 euros you cannot complain. If you like to see more late back videos like this one, please consider subscribing or even support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching.